All right, so this is the video for week three, TECM 3200 lab. Uh, today we're going to cover HTML headings, paragraphs, and lists. Um, you should have read Ducket chapters two and three um, for this to really make sense to you. And just as a reminder, these videos are typically um, best served as uh, supplementary materials to the readings and to the lab. So make sure that you're keeping up with all of the readings. Um, what we'll cover in today's video is a, a quick review of what HTML is. We'll look at some examples uh, of web page elements from a web page, uh, paying particular attention to headings, paragraphs, and lists. We'll review last week's HTML page, and then we'll add elements of headings, paragraphs, and lists to that page. So if you haven't done that already, you can follow along. So what is HTML? Um, HTML is literally uh, an acronym for hypertext markup language. And we talked about this last week and in lab that it's simply a system of tags, right? Um, and so when I use that verb markup, all I'm talking about is marking up um, or describing information. So this is the header to my website. So if this is our content, to mark something up simply means to place tags at the beginning and the end of that content. So we would mark it up with an H1 tag, and we would close the H1 tag. So when I say the verb markup, I'm literally talking about taking existing content or writing new content, and then applying uh, some description to them. So this is an H1 or a header. Um, let's take a look at an example. Uh, here is an example of my portfolio site. And I want to look at the elements of headers, paragraphs, and lists specifically. Um, and just to sort of give you a better idea of what that looks like, I'm going to turn off CSS um, using the Mozilla web developer function. Um, and we talked about how to install that in the last video. So if I turn off all styles, there's a couple things I want to point out. One is headers. So you'll see lots of headers in, my, in this document. So here's a header, here's a header. Here's a header. Um, the second is paragraphs. So this is an example of a paragraph, even though it's only one sentence. Here's another example of a paragraph. Um, this one's three sentences. So you'll see paragraphs and you'll see lists. So here's an example of a bulleted list. Here's another example of a bulleted list. And finally, a third example. Right. So almost the entire, the entirety of this homepage for my portfolio is headers, paragraphs, and lists. So I wanted to point that out to you just to show you, once you've mastered these three sets of tags, you can have, you know, you're well on your way to creating um, and being able to mark up most of the content that you'll need to for a website. With that said, let's take a look at um, the HTML document that we used in week two. Okay, so this is what you should have completed at the end of week two. It's got all of the essential elements of uh, an HTML document. So it's got the doc type and the HTML tag at the top. The HTML tag closes at the bottom. So again, we talk about marking up things and opening and closing tags. Everything inside of our HTML tag is our HTML document. Okay? Everything inside of the opening and closing of the body tag is the body of our HTML document. Um, and so on and so forth. So we've got our HTML tag and our doc type. Uh, we all always have to have a head tag that immediately follows that. And just as a reminder, the head tag um, is a tag that contains metadata or data about the page. Um, so we've got a head tag and we have to have a body tag that opens here and typically always closes right before HTML closes. Okay, um, so we started with some just you know, dummy text um, last week, I'm going to move on to fill in some more meaningful text um, in today in this week's example. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, this is going to be the final product of what we'll create today. Okay, so what, what you'll see today is um, uh, how to create this um, using header tags, paragraph tags, and list tags. Okay, 
Um, so with that said, let's start. So I'm going to change um, the title here because we're going to actually make this a little bit more meaningful to portfolio. And I am going to change uh, this header. Well, I'm going to remove the header completely. Okay. So let's save as. Okay. So we've changed the title to Chris Lamb's portfolio. Uh, the second thing, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a header for resume, right? And so headers are uh, a simple tag in HTML to master. They're simply uh, H1 for the first level header, right? And so in HTML, you can mark up multiple levels of headers. So H1 is the first level header, and as you probably guessed, H2 is the second level, H3 is the third level, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if H1 is our first level header, we need to create, uh, we need to mark up the word resume. Okay, so again, our first, the first thing we want to mark up is this big header at the top called resume. Okay, so if we save that... you can see here we've got resume appearing on our page now okay the other thing I want to point out is I changed the title to Chris Lamb's portfolio and you can see that changed here in the tab at the top of the web browser so this is the title tag appearing at the top of the web browser um, so we've got our resume a second thing we need to do then is we need to, if we look at our final product again, add some of this paragraph text, okay? So even though they're short, small pieces of text, they're still considered paragraph text. So to add that, we use the P tag, right? So to mark up any paragraph content, um, you use the P tag, okay? So we'll open up the P tag and we'll add our content. So below you will find links to important entries on my resume. It is up to date as of 1-15-14. Okay, and of course every tag that opens must close. So our content is here. Below you will find links. Uh, Two important entries on my resume. It is up to date as of 1.15.14. Every tag that opens must close, so we'll close our paragraph tag here. So we're literally saying everything in between this opening P and this closing P is paragraph content. And it in fact is paragraph content. Okay. So let's save it and let's refresh. And you can see there it appears on the page. Below you will find links. Two important entries on my resume is it up it is up to date as of 1 15 14 okay so far so good let's take a look again at our final product so our final product has what looks like another line of text okay in HTML there's no markup for a single line of text there's only markup for paragraphs so even though it's just one sentence we would just add another paragraph so we'd open up our paragraph with the P tag, and you can say for a PDF version, please email me. Okay. And again, this is our content. It's just one sentence, and we're saying this one sentence should appear as paragraph text on the document. Okay. So let's see what that looks like if we refresh. And there we go. So we've got our header one resume, we've got our first paragraph tag here, and our second paragraph tag here. Okay, so far so good. Um, let's take a look again at our final product. So the next thing we want to add is education. And you can see education is a little bit different than resume in that it's a subheading of resume, right? So resumes are big level one heading, 
education would be our level two heading. Okay, so we need to add education uh, and a second level heading is marked up as H2. Okay, so again, our content is literally education. We're wrapping it inside of uh, an H2 tag. So there's the opening H2 and the closing H2. So let's save. And I'll just make some space here so you can see and indent it. Let's save and let's see. And as you can see, it appears on the page here, right? So here's our H1. You can see H2 is a little bit different than H1. Um, let's continue. And just a, as just a quick explanation, um, I didn't make, I didn't tell the web browser to make these two things appear differently. Um, but if there is no CSS file to tell the rules of the design to the web browser, um, all web browsers have default settings, just like Microsoft Word has default settings. And so um, it will default and make H1 appear a little bit different than H2, and of course then H3 will appear a little bit different than H4, and so on and so forth. Um, so let's take a look back at our final version. What looks like we have to add next is a list of degrees under education. So let's do that. Um, so under education, we want to create a list of degrees. So there's two different types of lists you can create in HTML. Unordered lists, which are bulleted lists, and ordered lists, which are um, uh, numbered lists. So in an unordered list, the tag for unordered list is UL. Stands literally for unordered list. Okay. Um, unordered list will be your first introduction to what's called nesting of tags. Okay. So a UL simply tells the web browser the information that will come after UL is an unordered list. So we have to actually create list items in HTML. So the tag for list item is li. Um, and so the first thing we put is our first degree, bachelor's of science, um, University of Illinois, or something like that. Okay. And so again, every tag that opens must close. So we've got our list item opening here. We've got our content, BS, University of Illinois, and we've got our closing tag. Okay, the next item is the next degree. So MS, IIT, and again, the list item opens. We've got our content, MS, IIT, and we've got our closing tag. And our final list item is uh, the final degree and university. And same thing, every tag that opens must close. But you might have noticed our UL tag hasn't closed, right? And so this is, if the rule is every tag must that opens must close, we've got to close it. We close it after we've completed our list items, okay? So literally, we've said what's to come is an unordered list. Here are the list items. And now we're done with the unordered list. So that's what this entire highlighted entry is. And you can see that these list items are nested inside of the unordered list. So they open and close inside of the unordered list. So let's save and let's take a look at what that looks like. When we refresh, now we can see our list item appears, right? So we've got our BS, MS, and PhD. Okay, so we've got our three degrees. Um, there. Let's take a look back at the final product again. The last thing we're looking for is a publications section and an ordered list of three articles. Okay, so let's add that. So just like education, publications are a second level header. So they're at sort of at the same level as education. Um, so I'm going to create an H2 for publications. And again, we've opened up H2, our content is publications, and we've closed H2. And then ordered lists work exactly the same as on ordered list. So OL, um, and we just put list items as well. So article one, so we opened up a list item for article one. Article two, we open and close a list item. And article three, we open and close a list item. 
Okay, and so again, just like an unordered list, the ordered list is nested, uh, has list items nested inside of it. Oops. Okay, so OL is our tag for ordered list. We've got three items. We could have as many as we want. We could have 100 if we wanted, but in our example, we've got three. Um, and then we've closed our ordered list here. Okay, so this is the entire ordered list. Let's refresh and let's see. And there it is, right? So we've created our publications header and three art articles. One thing you should note is they're numbered, right? So you see one, two, three here. I didn't actually number them one, two, three, right? I just tagged them as list, li. Because we opened up an ordered list or an ol tag, it automatically, the browser automatically knows all of the list items to come are numbered. They should be numbered. So it automatically creates numbers. Um, so that's why that's happening. So here's our final product. This is our final version of our HTML page. And just as a quick recap, um, we've got our first level header. We've got some paragraph text that we added. And then we've got some sections of second level headers, um, education and publications. And inside of those, we've got one unordered list of education information and one ordered list of publications information. Okay. Another thing I want to note is you'll notice that everything we've added here is inside of, so all this highlighted information is inside of what's called the body tag. Body opens here and closes here. Um, that's important to note. So the body, if we look at our final version of the page, the body is everything that appears in the web browser, in the window of the web browser. So anything that you want to appear on this page has to go inside of the body tag, um, just as a reminder. Okay. So this is an example of headers, paragraphs, uh, and lists. Um, hopefully you'll be able to start creating um, uh, some content uh, and marking that content up in HTML for your own portfolios.